Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this relatively cool space game known as Osiris New Dawn. Now this game is actually still in early access and it's still a very very early build, so this will not be for everyone, but I found it completely by accident when it was released back in October of 2016. And then it took me a few weeks before I finally tried it and I actually fell in love with this. This is a sandbox building game with a lot of future implementations that are promised by the developers. And we're going to take a look at this from scratch. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now for this particular playthrough, I'm just going to use a single player game. I'm actually going to delete my old character and show you how the creation works. So as an early access game, you only get one class for now, but this game will have four classes later on. And there are two different um, factions that basically are battling against each other. One is the Earth Descendants and one is the Pirates. We're going to go for this guy right here. We're going to briefly customize him, naming him Anton. And we're going to name our universe What The Math. Now, this can be either a PvP or PvE world, and you can obviously play with your friends or connect to other players, but I'm, just for the sakes of this review, I'm only going to do single player. And welcome to Proteus 2, third moon of Theseus Prime. Now, this is actually based off of an actual solar system we've discovered, um, one of the Glias systems, I believe, Glias um, 581. And uh, this particular system will include several planets orbiting around the star. So some of these planets you'll be able to land to in the future. Now, our first mission here is to patch our suit, which we'll be doing a lot using duct tape, of course, or I guess as you hear they call it patch tape. Now, in the beginning, you get a very, very brief tutorial on how to play this game. But essentially, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be exploring this beautiful planet. You're going to be collecting and harvesting resources. You're going to be constructing things. And we're going to do a bit of that today. But most importantly, you're going to be surviving against the life on this planet. And it can be, get pretty dangerous and it can get pretty scary. All right, let's uh, collect our uh, survival kit. I think this is our mission here. Survival kit, right? Yeah. And when you collect something, you get basically this uh, inventory-like environment where you can either choose what to take or you can just take all. And all of the stuff goes into your equipment. So all of this is already really well planned out. It works pretty well in the game. Uh, so far, uh, even after having played this for a few hours, I haven't really discovered many bugs. Uh, and the game does play really, really cool. Uh, there's still not a lot of features in the game that are available, but they're definitely coming, and the game has been consistently updated since the release. Uh, I believe this is actually made by husband and wife. There's only two of them. And uh, they've, they've been making this game for about five years now. and So they're definitely in this for the long term. All right, so my next mission, I believe, is to... Oh, okay, it's, it's telling me to view things. Okay, so this is me. Hi, Anton, everyone. Anton, welcome, welcome. So this was a mission. Use a camera mode. All right, cool. Uh, let's go into the next mission here. And our next mission is to build an inflatable dome. This is going to be our first building we're going to be building. Uh, so these are the buildings currently available to us. There's a lab, biodome, hallway, um, barracks, airlock, habitat, and inflatable dome. All of these I'll need to collect resources for. And so this will obviously take a while. Uh, this, however, I can build right away. And here you go. So this is how things are built. You can move them around. And then you can just place them by holding F. And the longer you hold this, the more uh, hit points the building gets. So hold this until the end to, get, to give your building 100%. There we go. All right, inflatable dome co constructed. So let's actually go inside and save our game. There's a little bed here. And this also refills your oxygen. Also gives you health and so on and so forth. All right. Um, I can restore my health using this um, every five minutes. And I can also do things like uh, nickname my dome. I'm going to call it Domi. This is going to be Domi the Dome. All right. So left oxygen recovery zone. You can see there's an alien right there. Let's go and shoot it. Actually, no. Let's not do that just yet. Let's first go through our inventory so I can actually show you what we actually have. So, first of all, I'm going to equip my pistol right here because I'll need it really soon. And just in case, I sold a rifle as well because it's a little bit more powerful. Um, so, there's things like med kits and water and bandages and batteries. All of this you'll need for your survival. Um, this right here shows you your suit pressure. This right here shows you the temperature both outside and inside your suit. This is your thirst and hunger. And this is your health uh, and suit integrity. So all of these are part of the survival in this game. And you'll need to maintain this either by patching your suit or drinking or eating and so on. Structures is where um, all of the things are built. 
Utilities are various tools you construct to create um, other things. Like, for example, this is a forge that will allow you to create further uh, elements and further materials that are needed for more complex constructions. Like, for example, things like steel and glass. Uh, so you'll need forge for that. Depositor is basically a storage uh, unit. Uh, beacon is something that will tell you where to go. Flag is, well, I think it's just, it says to claim territory, but I haven't really found any use to it yet, but I think it's just for fun. And turret is very, very important. This is for you to protect yourself from enemies and of course from um, alien life. And this right here is a marker that basically keeps track of things you visited and so on. There's also furniture. Uh, this is just basically for fun mostly, however, some of these uh, things will actually um, improve your base a little bit. Like for example, Oxygenator improves the oxygen refilling inside of your base. Uh, climate Controller will actually regulate the temperature inside of living quarters, and you can also build an extra bed and so on. So there's uh, some um, items that are already kind of useful and are already added in the game. Uh, but once again, this is early access, so this will still improve with time. Oh, and by the way, there's also levels and experience in this game that will actually allow you to improve your character with time. So this game has quite a lot of things going for it. All right, so first things first, let's go and get some metal. I believe this is what we need to do because we need to build a depository unit. And to build a depository unit, oh yeah, you have this guy too. It, he's your assistant. He just kind of walks around and repairs stuff. Uh, to build a depository unit, I need some metal. So I'm going to go and collect some metal. I think this is metal right here. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, equip our chisel and get to mining. This is basically how you mine on, on alien planets. Oh, oh, I hear this. I hear that. I heard that. Oh, I'm being stalked. I'm being stalked. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so here comes our first uh, enemy that decided to attack us from behind. Now, this will happen to you quite a lot. And it will be as scary as it was just now. Even more scary. This is a, a, a larva. This is not even like... This is not even a, a full-grown thing yet so imagine how big these things get so this will happen a lot you'll get uh, stalked by animals they'll get they'll attack you all the time and you'll have to defend yourself at night this is absolutely terrifying as a matter of fact i tend to not go out at night because because i get scared very easily but this is what this is what makes this game so much fun at night these creatures will come out they'll stalk you even more and you'll basically have to defend yourselves even more. Now, there's a lot of really cool effects in this game, a lot of really cool things that uh, add to the atmosphere. Like, for example, if I walk to this... Oh no, my suit has been breached by these sharp needles! Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? I guess I have to go and uh, use my tape again. If you don't uh, patch your suit, you will die from uh, suffocation. Alright, so, let's go and take a look at those animals. They look pretty funky and possibly kill one or two of them. They look like ostriches on drugs. Hello, Orsac level one. Can I shoot you, Orsac? Oh, I'm gonna show you the other weapon. Can I shoot you with my rifle? And dead. Let's collect its meat. And this will be used for cooking later on. All right, so our mission is to actually Explore, find metal, and I believe I also need aluminum. Just to check, I believe I have to build depository utility, which requires more iron and more aluminum. Okay, so I haven't seen aluminum just yet, but I'm gonna walk around, also possibly just equip my pistol for now, and uh, look for both the metal and the aluminum. And once we get it, we'll try to construct a depository and possibly end our video there. But you never know what you might see on the way. Did you hear that? I heard that. You never know what you might see on the way. This game is very unpredictable, and a lot of unexpected things always happen. Now, if you were to play against other players, there's also that danger as well, and do, people do tend to not be very nice un unless they're a part of your... Uh, oh, precious metal. Unless they're a part of your own um, faction. If they're in a different faction, they will most likely attack you, and you'll most likely die. And here we go. It heard me. It heard me mine. It heard me mine and it attacked me again. And that was very, very scary, by the way. I got really, really paranoid. Oh, look at that. Ha. Oh my god, what is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? That's even bigger than before. Alright, so. Looks like I'm in a lot of trouble. There's a lot of things attacking me just because I decided to mine in that particular area. 
And I am being uh, totally pulled on by this thing. This is actually the uh, first time I've seen this enemy. Mostly because I haven't played this game long enough. But it is a lot more scary and a lot more painful than the other guy. Oh, Jesus Christ, no! Another one! Seriously, how many of you are here? No, stop attacking me! Stop it! 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 Okay, okay, I think they ran away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was that was pretty terrifying. So, I got totally mauled by these things. Uh, they definitely decreased my health dramatically. Which means I'm gonna have to go back to, uh, to my base and replenish my health. And all of this was because they heard me mine. They heard me go bang bang on the, um, on the metal right there. And decided to investigate and find out what's happening. And that's how animals work in this particular game. Alright, on that note, I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time, and I'm going to try to be ready for anything. Now, this is a base metal, meaning that it's probably going to give me either iron or aluminum. And I'm just going to do this really quickly. Oh, level 2 reach. Melee proficiency level up. Yay! I will never use melee in my life, though. Oh, I hear it. 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 And that was a lot easier now because I knew that it was going to come for me. As soon as it hears me, uh, mine, it usually comes out and attacks. All right. So I'm going to skip this part where I'm just collecting resources. I know something interesting happens. And we're going to also wait until nighttime so you can get, so you get to see what the night is like as well. But luckily for us, we've collected enough resources to construct the depository, which is our next mission. So we're going to go and do that and use it as a storage and while we're walking there check out the effects look how beautiful this game is now this is made in unity engine and this is probably one of the most beautiful unity games i've ever played and water this is water water is flooding my area so let's go ahead and build that depository thingy uh somewhere maybe right here this looks like a good space for it and this will complete that mission. And basically, this is the essence of the game. Collect, build, survive, and uh, have fun with friends and or alone. Now, this can be, be now used to store stuff. I can use this to store some of the things I'll probably not be using very much. Uh, but since it's basically night time... Oh, Jesus Christ, there it is! Look at that, look at that. That's what I was waiting for. At night time, things come out. They are scary and dangerous. Let's save our game, and let's go try to help our poor, poor uh, repair bot that's possibly going to get... Going to get mauled by everything here! Jesus Christ, use a rifle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! All right, with that, we killed that dead female crab. Uh, thank you for helping me, mister. And we got a lot of alien meat from it. So that was a pretty interesting battle. This is what nighttime is like. You'll see a lot of really big monsters. A lot of them will probably be very, very, very tough to defeat. And it's very likely that at some point you might even lose this repair bot. But honestly, all in all, this game is actually really fun. Now, it might not take you very long to see everything this game has to offer, but because there is constant updates and because this game has so much planned, including landing on other planets, exploring uh, the rest of the solar system, and essentially building up colonies on those planets as well, I definitely think that this game has a pretty positive future, especially considering the fact that it's already been over five years in development and uh, sounds like the couple that's behind this game developing this is pretty serious about it. All in all, Osiris New Dawn is not a game for everyone, it's definitely still early access, but if you love survival games, if you love space games, if you love games that are atmospheric, that allow you to basically build things with your friends or alone, and then uh, PvP with other players as well, this might be actually for you. So give Osiris New Dawn a, a try, and also check out the link for this game in the description below. Now, 
Not only is it dark now, but there's also some kind of a storm coming, so I can barely see anything. Going out there right now to mine would be a complete and total suicide, and I would most likely not live for a very long time. You can see how atmospheric this game gets. It's actually really, 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 really dark. I'm going to turn on my flashlight just to give you an idea of what all of this looks like. And let's just go out there and see if we can possibly encounter some scary, dangerous creature. Berry tree, resource. This is actually food. I may need this at some point. So, this is where the game becomes a, a horror game. It's no longer a survival game. It's a survival horror game. And I know something is going to be stalking me. Oh, sound has changed. That is not good. And I hear something. I hear something coming. So let's end our video right here. Oh, 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 it's you again. Oh, Jesus Christ, what are you? What are you? No, 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 they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, there's a huge worm. Okay, and there we go. And that's the end. So anyway, and you know what? Consider this game and possibly consider subscribing to this channel if you still haven't. Share this video with people who enjoy watching space games or enjoy survival games. And uh, leave a comment. Do you know any other games that are similar? Let me know so I can take a look at them as well. We're going to try to take a look at at least one space game a week. And for now, this is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Game later. Bye-bye.